evening, everybody. This is Robert. And this is Joe. And we welcome you to another edition of New York Mets Baseball on Action PC Sports. The date is May 2, 1986. And tonight, the New York Mets travel to Riverfront Stadium to take on the Cincinnati Reds. Always was a good, always was a good rivalry. I always felt between the Mets and the Reds. These two teams always got together, and you never really knew what to expect between these between these two. You really didn't know. This is Riverfront Stadium, another one of those cookie cutters in the same format as like uh, Three River Stadium, Bush Stadium, you know, Veteran Stadium. All cookie cutters, pretty much. All cookie cutters. They all look pretty much the same with that darn turf on the field. Tonight's starting pitcher for the Mets is going to be Fernandez. He's made three starts in the year. He's 2-1 and one with an ERA of 2.14. It's his first start against the Reds. He'll be opposed by Bill Gillickson of Cincinnati. He's 2-0 and with an ERA of 3.91. It's his first start against the Mets. Keith Hernandez is running a 12-game hitting streak. 69 degrees here in Cincinnati. Wind speed kind of brisk. 18 miles an hour right to left. So here we are, we take a look at Riverfront Stadium. And uh, Joe, what do you got for the starting lineup for the Mets? Well, we got Ronnie Dykstra batting first. It'll be Wally Backman batting second. Uh, Hernandez will bat third. Carter bats fourth. We got Strawberry batting fifth. George Foster will bat sixth. Ray Knight batting seventh. Uh, Howard Johnson batting eighth. And Sid Fernandez, the pitcher, will be batting ninth. And what do we got uh, defensively for the Reds? The Cincinnati Reds in 1986 really were not a bad team. You had Tony Perez at first base, Ron Oster at second base, another great baseball name, Dave Concepcion at shortstop, Buddy Bell at third, Nick Asaski in left field, Eric Davis, well, we know what kind of trouble he caused. He's in center field. Dave Parker in right. Behind the plate is Sal Butera. And on the mound for the Cincinnati Reds will be Bill Gillickson. In 1986, a 3.38 ERA, 15 wins, 12 losses. On the replay so far, 3.91 and 2-0. and So he's yet to lose a game tonight. In a series between the Mets and the Reds, anything can happen here. So we all know what can happen. The Mets, of course, coming off a nice uh, series against the Braves. Let's see how we do in Cincinnati to keep... Uh, Keep winning here. The Mets, however, are 10 and 7, but the Reds are having troubles. Five wins, 12 losses. So right now, Cincinnati is one of the worst teams in the league. So let's beat this team like they are. First inning, leading off for the Mets will be Lenny Dykstra, batting 304 with a homer and two RBIs. And here's the pitch from Gillickson. And Dykstra takes a walk, so he'll go to first. So the Mets get the leadoff runner there, and we'll see Wally Backman. Batman batting 364. He's got seven runs batted in. Dykstra definitely a threat. Backman sets into the batter's box. Here's the pitch from Gillickson. There goes Dykstra with the steal. The throw to second. And he's in there easily. Steal number two for Dykstra. If you're the Mets, you got to get these base runners moving. So that's a good way to start the game. Backman's still at first base. Dykstra got a heck of a jump. Sal Butera really had no chance to get him out. Backman's throw at the plate. Two, a ball and no strikes. Here's the pitch from Gillickson. Backman, it's a ground to the left side. That's going to be a base hit. Dykstra rounding third. He will hold. Will not take the chance. And now with runners at first and third, nobody out. And here's Keith Hernandez riding a 12-game hitting streak. He's batting 366, two homers and 14 RBIs for the replay. Runners at first and third. Nobody out here. Let's get in there. And here's the pitch from Gillickson. And struck him out. So Hernandez goes down. He did get a piece of it, but Butera did hang on to it. Just barely got a piece there, Rob, but he definitely made the play. Here's Carter. Carter batting 250. he He's got five homers and 17 RBIs. Dykstra on at third. Backman at first. Here's the pitch to the kid. Carter hits a rope towards short, and that's going to be a base hit. Dykstra will score. Backman to second. Asaski tosses it back in there, and the Mets jump out in front. one nothing. Nice hit by Carter. Gellickson kind of threw him a low curveball. Carter actually went for it and just easily knocked it through the infield. And that gets the Mets on the board early. 
Runners at first and second. Here's Strawberry batting 328, two homers and 17 RBIs. And Strawberry definitely a threat. Gillick's in there. And here's the pitch to Strawberry. Struck him out. And that's the second strikeout for Gillickson. It's amazing he's 2-0, yet the Reds have only five wins. So he's got two of the Met, of the Red five wins for the season so far. Here's George Foster batting 289, four homers and 12 RBIs. Backman still at second, Carter at first. Here's the pitch to Foster. It's a high fly ball, but a Sasky should be there. And he puts it away. But nothing wrong getting out early. One run, two is through errors. New York Mets won. Reds coming up. The starting lineup for Cincinnati will be Eric Davis batting first. Concepcion batting second. Parker third. It'll be Perez batting fourth. Asaski batting fifth. Bell batting sixth. Sal Butera batting seventh. Ron Oster batting eighth. And Bill Gellickson will bat ninth. And Joe, what we got for the Mets? Hunter Dykstra. We have Keith Hernandez at first base. Wally Backman's at second. Howard Johnson is the shortstop today. And we got Ray Knight at third. George Foster is in left field. Lenny Dykstra in center field. And Daryl Strawberry in right. Behind the plate is Carter. And on the mound for the Mets today is Sid Fernandez. Two wins, one loss, a 2.14 ERA. His whip is .952, so he only gives up a hit, one hit every two innings so far. So let's get to the bottom of the first. Atlanta and Philadelphia now scoreless in the second in some National League action. Eric Davis leads off for Cincinnati. He batted 277 and 86, 27 homers, 71 runs batted in, but for the replay, 228. And he's got four home runs, so Eric Davis definitely a threat, and he is quick. He had 80 stolen bases in 86, so got to keep him off the base pads. Here's the pitch from Fernandez, and it's a deep fly ball down the left field line, and foul just in the stands. Three balls and two strikes. Davis will get another crack at it. Here's the pitch from Fernandez, and he lines a base hit between third and short, and that's not what you wanted. So Eric Davis gets on first. And now the batter is Dave Concepcion. He batted 260 with three homers and 30 RBIs in 86. He's batting 196 for the replay. Davis definitely a threat to steal, 11 steals on the season. We're gonna try a pitch out and see if they're gonna send him. So far, Carter has done well. Here's the pitch, there goes Davis. Here's the throw to second, not in time. That's 12 for Davis on the year, not a chance. Here's Concepcion. He's still at the plate. Davis on at second. He's also a threat to steal third. Here's the pitch. Concepcion bunts it in front of the plate. The throw to third is in time. Nice play by Garner. Makes a big play to get the lead runner. Not a good bunt there by Concepcion. Nope, that was right in front of the plate. Carter had plenty of time to make the play at third bit to get it to uh, Knight at third. Concepcion now at first base. Here's Dave Parker. Parker at 86, 273, 31 home runs, 116 RBIs. He was one of the better players in the league that year. He's batting, he's for the replay though, 269 average and two home runs. So he's a little far, he's a little bit behind. Concepcion at first. Here's the pitch to Parker. And he walks it. So Fernandez gives up his first walk of the game, and now here's Tony Perez. Perez in 86, 255 average. He had two homers, 29 runs batted in, but for the replay, only batting 200. Runners at first and second. If you're the Mets, you do not want to give the Reds any runs back after scoring a run in the first. Here's the pitch from El Cid. And it's a fly ball towards left center. But Foster catches it for the out, two down. A great play, actually. And now here's Nick Asaski. Batted 230 in 86, 12 homers, 41 runs batted in. For the replay, 224, two homers and six RBIs. Concepcion at second, Parker at first. Fernandez trying to get out of a little quick jam. Here's the pitch to Asaski. 
struck him out and and Fernandez gets out of it no runs one hit no errors top of the second here's Ray Knight for the Mets Knight 321 a homer and nine RBIs Gellickson sets up here's the pitch and it's grounded the conception on its short should be routine it is one out and now we'll see Howard Johnson He's batting 320, four RBIs. Johnson sets in there, taking a good look. Good crowd here at Riverfront, even though the Reds are not off to a good start for the season. Here's the pitch to Hojo. It's a screamer to right center. That's going to be extra bases. Howard Johnson will have a stand-up double. And boy, he got a rip at that one. Yep, that was way in there. Johnson easily saw it, lit up and easily made the play. Here's Sid Fernandez. He's actually batting 500 for the uh, season so far. He's three for six for the replay, even with a double. Fernandez definitely capable of getting a hit, making a hit. With Dykstra on deck, I think you'll let Fernandez try to hit the ball. Corners are in, and here's the pitch to Fernandez, and that's a strikeout. So Gillickson does his job, striking out the pitcher, and now Dykstra. Dykstra, he walked his first time up. Johnson still at second base, runner in scoring position. There's the pitch to Dykstra. Dykstra swings on the ground to Oster. Oster throws to Perez, and he gets him out. Another runner stranded, bottom of the second. Here comes Buddy Bell for the Cincinnati Reds. Batted 278 in 86, 20 homers, 75 runs batted in, off to a very good start in the replay. 367 average, three homers and 15 RBIs. Buddy Bell always felt he was one of the unsung, another one of those unsung heroes. He had good years with the Reds, and he had good years with the Texas Rangers. Here's the pitch to Bell. It's a ground ball right back to Fernandez, who throws him out, one down. Here's Sal Butera, batting, he batting 250. He's only one for four, so it's only his fifth at bat for the Reds. In 86, he batted 239 and a couple of homers, 16 RBIs. Seattle leading Toronto, one nothing to the third. Butera sets up. Fernandez gets the sign from the kid, the pitch. It's a lazy fly ball to right center, and Dykstra will lazily make the catch. Two down. And now we'll see Ron Oster. You gotta love these baseball names, Ron Oster. In 86, 258 average, eight homers, 44 RBIs. For the replay, not bad, 274. He's got no home runs yet, so he's due to hit one soon. Fernandez would like a nice quick inning here. He gets, sets up and the pitch to L from El Cid. It's a hard liner right back to Fernandez and he spears it, pulls it in, and that does it. Three up, three down, third inning. One nothing Mets. Here's Wally Backman leading off. He's one for one. Gillickson gets in the, sets on the rubber. Detroit leading Minnesota, two nothing in the American League, fourth inning. Backman looks like he's just, uh, he took time out there real quick. Now he's just getting back in the batter's box. I think there's something about the bat he didn't like. He's issuing for the ball boy to get another bat, and he gets another bat for him. Here's the pitch to Backman. Backman swings, grounded out, grounded down the line at first, but that's going foul. And they'll get another chance. One ball, two strikes to Wally. Here's the pitch. Just off the ground, an inside ball four. Backman so it goes from a one-two count to a walk. The Mets get the lead off on on. Here's Hernandez. Hernandez 0 for 1, 12 game hitting streak. Backman, a, not really a threat to steal. You'll let Hernandez bat here. Here's the pitch from Bill. And a ground and conceptual short should be two. Throws to one, throws to two for first, and that's a double play. Base is clear now for Carter. He's one for one. Has an RBI. Find a single over short to score Dykstra. 
Carter up there. Here's the pitch to Gary. It's a grounder between first and second. Great play by Oster. Throws to first. And he's out of there. Great play by Oster. Side retired. Bottom of the third. Still 1-0. Bill Gillickson will lead it off for Cincinnati. He's 1-8 for eight as a batter. He was batted 076 as a batter in 86. Sid Fernandez on the mound. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Second strikeout for Sid Fernandez. And now here's Davis. Davis one for one. Got to keep him off the base bats. Here's the pitch to Eric. He's another base hit. He will hold it first as Foster tosses it back into the infield. So again, Eric Davis on first. And he's two for two. And now here's Concepcion. He's 0 for one. Here's the pitch out. There goes Davis. Throw to second. And it's into the outfield. That's an error on Carter. And Davis is going to end up at third. An error on Carter. He had no chance of getting Davis. And now the Reds have the tying run at third base. So Sid Fernandez gets back on the rubber. Concepcion at the plate. Here's the pitch. Concepcion struck him out. Third strikeout for Fernandez. And now the batter is Parker. Parker bats well against the lefties. 302. Davis on at third. And here's the pitch to Parker. Parker, live with the air back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Davis will score. Dykstra throws it back in. And the Reds have tied it up at one. Parker comes through with the big hit. And now here's Perez. He's 0 for 1. Yeah, that was just a good hit ball by uh, Parker. And pretty much, really, Eric Davis just walks home. Two outs. Tied at one now. And here's the pitch to Tony Perez. And it's a soft liner up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit. Parker moves to third. Dykstra fires it back in. And now we have runners at first and third with two outs. And here's a Sasky. He's 0 for 1. Carter gesturing to, to Fernandez, letting him calm him down a little bit. And try to get out Nick Sasky and just keep this a tie ball game. Sasky on the mound. Here's the pitch from Fernandez. That's a deep fly ball down the left field line, but Foster makes the catch to retire the side. One run, three hits, one error. New York Mets one, Reds one. Top of the fourth, here's Strawberry. He's 0 for 1. Against the, t against the 5 and 12 team like the Reds, if you're the Mets, you need to take it. You need to take two out of three in this series. Here's the pitch to Strawberry. Misses inside, Strawberry goes to first, and that's a walk. Strawberry on first base, a bit of a ceiling threat, but I don't think we're going to see it here. Here's Foster, he's 0 for 1 today. Chance for Foster to come through with a hit. Here's the pitch to Foster. It gets the bat on it, Concepcion to his left, fields it, pegs to second for one, over to first. And that is going to be the double play. Second double play grounded into by the Mets. The bat now will be the batter now will be Knight. He's 0 for 1. I think Foster was a little bit, I don't think he was sure where that pitch was going, so he decided to go ahead and lunge at it. And that one just wound up right to Concepcion. And again, it clears the bases. Knight 0 for 1. Here's the pitch from Gillickson. It's a fly ball to left center, but Davis is there, and that puts it away for the out. Bottom of the fourth, still tied at one. Buddy Bell will bat for Cincinnati. He's 0 for 1. Bell riding an eight-game hitting streak as well, so he's been hot of late. Here's the pitch from Fernandez. He lines a base hit up the middle, and Buddy Bell continues hitting well. He'll be on first. And now we'll bring up Butera. Bell on at first base. I don't think we're going to see a, a steal from him. 
and Butera now will be up there. Here's the pitch to Sal Butera. It's a routine ground to the right side. Fernandez will tag the bag himself, and that will be one out. Bell goes to second. So Butera does move the runner over. One out, here's Ron Oster. Oster 0 for 1, Bell on its second. Here's the pitch. Bell going to third, and he's out of there. Gary throws him to third, and he's dead duck. And I'm a little surprised at that play, and I think it was a hit and run. It was a hit and run. It was a hit and run. The ball was high. Oster decided not to swing at it, and it just wound, and it just wound up right for Carter to easily make the play. So now two outs, and Oster still at the plate. Here's the pitch from Fernandez. Struck him out. Fourth strikeout for Fernandez, and that ends the inning. There was a hit, but nothing there. Tied at one, top of the fifth. Here's Howard Johnson. He's one for one with a double. Gillickson not pitching too bad. He's given up three hits. He's given up three hits and three three walks, three Ks so far for the game. But one run. Howard Johnson gets in the batter's box. Gillickson checks him out. Here's the pitch to Hojo. And it's smashed towards right center. A terrible play. Johnson with a head for a slide of second. Safe with a double. Awful play by Parker, who just couldn't make it there. And a leadoff double for Howard Johnson. Yep, that's what you want to see. Johnson, he's also swinging a bat a little better now. He's batting 370 so far, and that was a great hit. Here's Fernandez. Fernandez definitely will try to bunt, but will bunt it over. There's the bunt. Bunt heading down. Johnson going to third. He's going to be safe. And Hernandez is tossed out at first easy. Nice bunt by Fernandez. And now the batter is Dykstra, who's 0 for 1. With Johnson at third. White Sox leading Cleveland 1-0 in the second in American League action. Dykstra sets and deals. Here's the pitch. Dykstra grounds it to Conception at short. They're going to send Howard Johnson home. He will score. Dykstra is out at first, but the Mets take a 2-1 lead. At least you got the one run in. That was a very well hit ball by Dykstra, but it was just a little bit, but it just didn't have enough speed on it for Concepcion to make a play at home. Nice play. Backman one for one now. He's the next batter. The Mets now lead it 2-1. Gillickson sets up. Here's the pitch to Wally Backman. And it's a long fly ball to center, but Davis is there to make the catch. One run, one hit, no errors. New York Mets two, Reds one, bottom of the fifth. Texas crushing the Yankees 10-1 in the sixth inning American League. Bill Gillickson will lead off for the Reds. He's 0 for 1. Sid Fernandez knows you don't want to give the Reds back the run. Here's the pitch from Fernandez. And it's a line drive foul. It was along the third base line, but there wasn't much there for Gillickson. Here's the pitch again. And that's a strikeout. Five strikeouts for Fernandez. And now the batter is Davis. And Davis is two for two and has, stole two, and has stolen two bases so far. Again, you want to keep him off the base pads. Here's the pitch to Eric Davis. And he walks him. So again, Davis is on, is on base. The batter now is Concepcion. He's 0 for 2. Davis looking again to steal his third base. Here's the pitch. No, nothing going this time. Davis staying put. Concepcion still at the plate. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch to Concepcion. It's smashed on the ground. Base hit. Davis to second and will hold. So Concepcion comes through with a big one. 
And now the batter is Parker. He's one for one with an RBI. So L. Sid in another jam. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Parker sets in the batter's box. Here's the pitch to Parker. It's hurt one of the air towards center. Dykstra makes the catch. Davis is not going to tag up. He'll stay at second base, and there are two outs. And now the batter is Tony Perez. Perez, one for two. Davis on at second, conception at first. Here's the pitch to Perez. It's flying to left center. Dykstra's got plenty of room. He's got it, makes the grab, and that ends the inning. One hit, two men left on. 2-1 Mets, top of the sixth. Here's Hernandez. He's 0 for 2. Still has a 12-game hitting streak going on. Hernandez would like to continue it. Here's the pitch to Keith. And that's a grounder back up the middle. Oster's going to make the play. And that's out number one. Here's Carter. Carter, 1 for 2 with an RBI. Ellickson doing the job so far. He's only given up two runs. Here's the pitch to Gary. It's a high fly ball. Parker going back, and he's got it. Two outs. And now Strawberry, who's 0 for 1. Strawberry getting in there. Ellickson gets the signs from Butera. Here's the pitch from Strawberry. Struck him out, and that ends the inning. An easy inning for Gillickson, and we go to the bottom of the sixth. Here's Nick Asaski leading off for Cincinnati. He's 0 for 2. The pitch from El Cid. Lace towards third. Knight makes a great catch. Jumped up in the air and just took it. That was definitely a single at least. One out. And now Buddy Bell. Bell 1 for 2. He now has a nine-game hitting streak going. The pitch from Fernandez. That's a shallow fly ball towards right center. Dykstra comes on and makes the catch. Two men away, and now Sal Butera, who's 0 for 2. Fernandez getting the sign here from Carter. And here's the pitch to Patera. And it's a deep fly ball down the left field line, but George Foster waits for it, and he puts it away for out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. Seventh inning. California leading Milwaukee 6-1 in the third. George Foster will bat for the Mets. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Gillickson. It's a very deep fly ball towards left center. Davis going back, and it's to the fence, and that's out of here. George Foster hits his fifth home run on the season. 387 feet out of here. Yeah, that was well hit. That was well hit. Foster just got all of it. I think Gillickson, it actually was a good pitch. Gillickson actually gave him a good fastball, but Foster just read it and just sent it out. That was just a well hit ball. Gillickson gave him a good pitch, but in this case, Foster beat him on it. Here's Knight. Knight is 0 for 2, now 3-1 Mets. Here's the pitch. Knight, slow ground ball, third and short. Bell's going to have to hurry. The throw to first, and he is out. I think he looks safe from here, but I'm not going to challenge the umpire. He had the better read. I mean, I'm all the way up here in the uh, press box, you know. And I think I might need glasses. Well, I can get you a pair of glasses there, Joe, if you need them. I could give you mine, but mine are even worse than the ones you're supposed to wear. <laughs> Here's Howard Johnson. Johnson having a great day. Two for two with two doubles. He's been on fire so far. One out. And here's the pitch to Hojo. Fly ball down the right field line, but Parker is there. Makes the catch. And now we'll see Fernandez. Fernandez is 0 for 1. 
Here's the pitch. And he hits a Texas leaguer. That's going to be a base hit for El Cid. He'll get to first easy. And so the Mets have another chance to try to get a run in. Here's Dykstra. He's over for 2. Texas leaguer just right in there. And I think I, I think Gillickson was trying to throw a slider, and I think it wound up being a changeup. Fernandez noticed it and took it, put it up and put it in the outfield. That's what it looked like to me, too. More like a changeup. Maybe almost could have been a knuckleball, but Gullickson's not known for that. It's a slow pitch. Lenny Dykstra at bat. He's 0 for 2. Fernandez on it first. Here's the pitch to Lenny. And it's a liner down the right field line. Foul ball. He'll do it again. Two balls, two strikes on Dykstra. Here's the pitch. It's a grounds, a single between third and short. Fernandez will go to third. He will hold. So the Reds are not out of the inning yet. And now it's a chance for Wally Backman to really get another big run in here. Fernandez on at third. Dykstra at first. Backman is one for two. Grounded a single walk and fly to deep center. Gillickson from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Backman. He pops it up. Perez going, going, and it is foul ball. Just in foul territory. I think Backman, you saw Backman moving his arms to try to get it in the out and stands and barely got it. But now it's no balls and two strikes. Runners first and third. Here's the pitch to Wally. And as it grounded up the middle, Concepcion's got it, throws to first, and that retires the side. New York Mets three, Reds one, bottom of the seventh. Take a look at some of the out-of-town scoreboards here at the seventh inning stretch. It was Houston beating Montreal three to two. Texas leads the Yankees ten to four. Toronto over Seattle four to three. Top of the ninth, Boston leading Oakland ten three. Detroit leading Minnesota seven to four. Bottom of the eighth, Atlanta leads Philadelphia. Murphy hit his fifth home run. The White Sox over Cleveland, seven to nothing in the top of the fifth inning. California leading Milwaukee, seven to one. And it's Baltimore leading Kansas City, five to four. Motley hits his second home run for Kansas City. We'll start doing out of town scoreboards around the seventh inning stretch. Bottom of the seventh, three one Mets. Here's Ron Oster leading off for the Reds. Fernandez says he's strong, and I agree with him. Here's the pitch to Oster. And he hits on the ground between third and short, and that's going to be a base hit. Foster throws it back in, and the Reds get the man on first. And the batter will be Bill Gellickson, who's 0 for 2. Will the Reds have him bat is the question. Oster a threat to steal. Oster's got a stolen base. Pickoff attempt, Oster's back safely. Here's the pitch to Gillickson, and it's a drive, soft drive to short. Johnson throws to first, makes the catch, fires to first. Oster was way, it was a hit and run, and Oster is napping two outs. Wow, what a play by Johnson. It was definitely a hit and run, Oster, and I'm surprised he did a hit and run with a pitcher at bat. An Oster was, it was a soft line drive to short. Johnson just made the play and threw it right back to, to Hernandez, and you got two outs. They'll be questioning, they'll be, que they'll be questioning, uh, they'll be questioning the Reds, man Reds management on that one. But two outs now, and now here's Davis, who's been on base all three times. Fernandez still on the mound. And here's the pitch to Davis. It's lined to short, but this time Johnson hauls it in and keeps Eric Davis from getting on board. 3-1 Mets, top of the eighth. Keith Hernandez still has a 12-game inning streak. This is probably his last chance to continue it. He's 0 for 3. Struck out, grounded to short, and grounded to second. Here's the pitch to Hernandez. It's a grounder between first and second. Oster throws to first, and he's out of there. That'll probably end the streak. One out, the batter is Carter. 
Carter, one for three. Cooled off a little bit now, about 59 degrees here over the front. And the winds have died down too, now three miles an hour. So now it's calmed down. The fans on the edge of their seats, they want the Reds to maybe get a win here. Here's the pitch to Carter. And it's a routine grounder to Concepcion. He'll throw to Perez, and that's the second out. And now Strawberry. Strawberry 0 for 2. Gillickson gets in there. This is probably his last inning. That's why I'm not I'm surprised they even let him bat. We'll take a look at the bench. They have plenty of people on the bench for the Reds. And they got pretty and their and their bullpen's still strong, so I don't understand the call, but that's Reds management for you. I guess they are five and twelve for a reason. Here's the pitch to Strawberry. And he walks him. Strawberry will go to first. And will now bring up George Foster. Foster one for three. He had his fifth home run of the year. Can he make smack another one here? Strawberry not stealing. Here's the pitch to Foster. That's a ground ball hugging the third base line. Bell has to throw to first. He has it. No, that's pretty easy. And that retires the side. Still 3-1 Mets, bottom of the eighth. Concepcion is the batter. Two righties coming up. They say Fernandez looks okay. okay. And we're gonna go and we're going to the bullpen. And coming in to pitch for the Mets is going to be Terry Leach. Leach, however, having it rough. No wins, a loss, an 18.0 ERA. But Concepcion only bats 224 against the righties. Leach sets in. So Fernandez leaves with the point with the, with the, with the decision so far. Here's the pitch to Concepcion. And it's a ground ball on the third base line. That's foul. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Leach. Grounded to short. Johnson throws to first, and he's out of there. One down. Now the batter will be Dave Parker. Leach will stay out there. Parker bats 257 against the righties. One out. Here's the pitch to Parker. Struck him out. Big strikeout for Leach. Only a second strikeout of the year. And now the batter is Perez. Orozco and McDowell warming up in the bullpen. Here's the pitch to Perez. Struck him out. Terry Leach does the job and retires the side. Nothing across. We go to the top of the ninth. Ray Knight leads off. Bill Gillickson still on the mound for Cincinnati. Knight 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. It's a high bounding ball to Concepcion. Gets it over to Perez for the out. Here's Howard Johnson. Johnson 2 for 3. He's got two doubles. About to get one here. Pittsburgh and San Diego now just getting underway in National League action. Here's the pitch to Johnson. It's fly to Parker. Two outs. Parker gave, gave a little chase, but he had plenty of room. Well, that's because Parker can still move very well out there. This is Dave Parker in his later years, but he still was a very capable. Terry Leach is the batter. We'll see a pinch hitter. And the Mets will bring in the left-hander, Danny Heat. Heat batting 318 for the replay so far. He has six RBIs. He's better against the righties. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the ninth. 3-1 Mets. And on will come on Roger McDowell to close the door. No wins, two losses. He's got three saves. But you got all right handers up, so you got to use him in this case. 
Nick Asaski leads off for Cincinnati. He's 0 for 3. Cowell with the pitch. Walks him. Asaski goes to first. And the brings the tying run up now in Buddy Bell. Asaski on it first. Not a threat to steal. But McDowell already walks the leadoff batter. Here's the pitch to Bell. It's a line drive back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. A poor play by Dykstra. But Asaski holds. So Roger McDowell comes in, gives up a walk and a hit. And now the batter is Sal Butera. So the Mets are going to have to do this the hard way again. Runners at first and second, nobody out. They say McDowell is strong. Butera bats 213 against the righties. Runners in first and second, nobody out, bottom of the ninth. Here's the pitch to Butera. It's a grounder between third and short. Great play by Johnson, throws to ninth. Back to Hernandez, and that is a double play. Howard Johnson, who made a huge error a couple of nights ago, makes the play of the game. Diving stab by Johnson, he threw to ninth. For the for the force out at third, and then Knight throws to Hernandez at first to get the double play. That is huge. Bell is on at second, and the batter now is Ron Oster. Oster bats 284 against the righties. The problem is, do you do you pitch to Oster and put the tying run on base and then have a chance to see who they bring in as a pitch hitter? Oster's a switch hitter, so it doesn't really matter. I think you want to turn them around, and they're going to do that. And the Mets are going to bring in Jesse Orozco to pitch. So Orozco comes in, one win, one loss, four saves. We'll turn Oster around. He only bats 184 against the lefties. A big double play pretty much just got McDowell off the hook. Now it's up to Orozco. First base is open. Orozco sets and deals. And here's the pitch. It's softly lifted. That's a base hit. Bell will score from second. Foster scoops it up. It's now 3-2. to two. The tying run now on at first base. Bill Gellickson is the batter, and we'll see a pinch hitter, and it will be Kurt Stillwell. Stillwell is 5 for 19 for the replay so far. He batted 229 and 86. No homers, twice his RBIs. Oster on it first. 3 2 now. Orozco trying to get the last batter. So a base hit. By a, by a batter who only bats 190 against the lefties, and he still comes through with the hit. Still well at the plate. Batter 244, Orozco will stay out there. Checks and deals. Here's the pitch to Stillwell. It's a lines of base hit to short. Oster will hold it second base. Runners at first and second, two outs. And now here's Davis, who's two for three. The Met bullpen just cannot make it easy. Now 3-2, runners at first and second. And Davis hits the lefties better. Orozco is only 227. Runners at first and second, two outs. 
and they're going to bring in Rick Aguilera to try to get this game closed. So Rick Aguilera will come up to pitch. Runners at first and second, two outs. It's like any, no matter what I do here, I can't get the runners out. But Davis is up. First and second, two outs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Eric Davis has two game-winning RBIs on the season. The tying one is at second. The outfield's going to come in. Aguilera sets and deals. Here's the pitch. And it's a frozen rope to left center. That's going to go to the wall. Oster will score. Stillwell, the throw home is not in time. Stillwell gets the plate. Davis with a double. Reds come away with the win. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it here, Joe. No, neither do I. Mets couldn't get the bullpen, just cannot get runners out. And another blown game in the ninth inning. And the Reds come away with the win. Orozco takes the loss. He drops to 1-2. and two. Gellickson gets the win. He goes to 3-0. Three, oh. three runs in the bottom of the ninth. And Cincinnati beats the Mets 4-3. Leach got credit for the hold. McDowell got credit for a hold, but Orozco gets the loss. Aguilera, blown save. Maybe I shouldn't even brought him in there, but... And Gillickson goes a complete game and gets the 3-0. and And Eric Davis, 3-for-4 with two RBIs. And Cincinnati takes game one of this best... of this three-game set. Howard Johnson was 2-for-4 today. Eric Davis definitely was the player of the game for the Reds. No excuse. Bullpen is just awful. And I know Davey Johnson has to make some decisions, but the Mets have now blown, what, two or three games in the ninth? I'll have to check that. But that's the ball game here. And that does it for us. Our next game will be New York Mets versus Cincinnati. It'll be Ojeda versus Denny. Until then, everybody... This is Robert, and this is Joseph, and we want to say good night, everybody. Once again, final score, Reds 4, Mets 3. The Mets lose it again in the bottom of the ninth. Have a good night, everybody.